expected. I, as Scott has pointed out, I've been writing for ages, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pieces about all kinds of people in all kinds of areas, although rock has not really been my main alley. And this project, I didn't come to it, it came to me through an agent out of Montreal who called up and said, uh, we're looking for somebody to write about Sly Stone. I've seen something on the web you did uh, about Sly Stone. It looked pretty good. Will you do it? And for better or worse, I said yes. What I was thinking about really was what Sly meant to me about the time that I arrived in San Francisco, which was about the same time I was kind of arriving in adulthood in the late 60s and early 70s. Uh, it was a high time in many senses. <laughs> and Sly and the Family Stone were definitely part of the soundtrack of my life, as they probably uh, were for a number of you. Getting Sly to talk, uh, it seems, has been a challenge for his entire career, uh, perhaps more so since he stepped out of the spotlight really in the late 70s, uh, kind of got lost, and I turned out to be the first person he let interview him in 21 years, but it took a long, long time to catch up with him. Uh, once I did, and once I had done a second interview about a year later, uh, I think he began to kind of trust me, and he agreed to do the foreword to the book, which made it even more amazing. There's a little bit of the foreword on the back of the book, and you all will have a chance to get a closer look at the substance later on. But let me read you this bit from the forward. Sly says, My opinion about things is still the same, and I'm pretty aggressive about making sure people hear it. They accept it easy, or they got to accept it hard. So that really says it's kind of up to you. I guess that's Sly the Rock Zen Master, kind of. Uh, so you're going to get an introduction out of Sly, and then you're going to get uh, the author's introduction, which is written in a little bit of a different voice. I'm going to let you hear a little bit of that. This is me. Woodstock and the music that led him there four decades ago are still alive for Sly Stone. Quote, there could be a Woodstock on this very hill out there, he suggests.